Hey, what's good, guys? It's Zach. Hope you all are doing well. In case you haven't been on the internet in the past few days, you probably would not have seen that iOS 11 was announced by Apple. I have it here running on my iPhone 7 Plus. This is the beta version. Uh, it's, so it's not exactly ready for everybody to download right now, but uh, if you want to try it out on your phone, I don't recommend that you should do this on your daily iPhone. If you have a secondary iPhone or maybe an iPad that you don't really use that much, okay, go ahead and try it on there. Uh, but don't run this on your main phone. I don't recommend doing that. But if you want to try that out, I'll have a link for that down below in the description. So Apple did talk about a lot of new cool things going on with iOS 11. Of course, that unlock animation being new, if you guys didn't notice that already, the icon fly in animation is gone. I kind of liked that, but uh, it's gone now. But anyway, um, I'm not going to do a full 100 view of iOS 11. Just want to give you guys some tips and tricks, some cool things that you can do in iOS 11 and even if you don't have it on your phone yet, this can, I guess, sort of get you excited for when it will be available for everybody. All right, so I think the biggest visual change here is the control center. So let's go ahead and swipe up here. As you can see, it looks completely different. Um, I kind of like it. Some people like it. Some people don't. I'm more on the side of the people that do like it. It's not the greatest thing ever. It's not necessarily attractive, but it doesn't look bad. I kind of like it. Um, but the cool thing about this is that it's customizable. So the first tip is that you can go ahead and head over into the settings go to control center as you can see here you've got a whole bunch of things that you can change now which is pretty cool and you can go ahead and add things and take things away so for example if I don't want the calculator shortcut here I can go ahead and remove that um, but you know I kind of want to keep that there I guess um, and there are a lot of other things that you can add on here one of the newer things that they announced was do not disturb while driving you probably heard about that and I think the biggest thing here is the screen recording so you don't have to you know jailbreak or you know you don't have to plug it into your computer or anything like that to record your screen it is now baked into the OS which I think is a really nice feature to have uh, for those people that really like to make tutorials, app reviews, what's on my phone videos and stuff like that. So we just tap this button right here and it'll start recording the screen instantly, which is really cool. Um, and it's really smooth. So when you play it back, it'll be in like what, 60 frames per second. So you can stop it from control center or you can go ahead and stop it from right here and stop and it'll save directly to your photos, which is pretty cool. So if I just wanted to play this, that's exactly what I just recorded. So you can see it's really, really smooth. So I think for tutorials and videos like that, that's going to be great for you guys. Another cool thing about the control center here is that pretty much everything has a purpose with 3D or force touch, whichever one you want to go with. I'm not really an Apple person, but uh, if you wanted to 3D touch on here, for example, it'll bring this up and it has an option here to where you can actually enable your microphone audio. So if you wanted to do some commentary while you're recording your screen straight from here, you can do that with a timer. You can set a timer, um, the calculator, camera stuff flashlight like that you could do that before with the flashlight I just like the interface it just makes more sense um, you don't have like different light levels you can just go like this if you wanted to so it's it's nicer more refinements and uh, if you go over here to your connections you actually get more options here so the control center is more refined it's definitely more usable and uh, yeah I like it a lot better all right so next up we have instant screenshot editing so if I were to take a screenshot of my home screen real quick it'll toss it down into the left hand corner I can open it up and I can do pretty much anything I can crop it I can add some drawings to it I can circle stuff I mean there's a whole bunch of stuff you can do here which is it's pretty cool you can add a magnifier you can have a lot of fun with your screenshots yes we've had this on Samsung phones for pretty much forever but uh, yeah we finally have this on the iPhone so it's pretty cool for those of you that like to share screenshots or just you know have some fun with your screenshots for yourself then you can now do some extra stuff here all right so the next one is a pretty big one in my opinion and if you guys like to download a lot of applications and you find yourself trying to move multiple applications and you know you just have to do one by one now you don't have to do that anymore you can actually move multiple applications at once so you just pick up an application long press on it you tap on all of the other applications that you want to move at the same time and you can move them around. So if I wanted to move these applications to this screen, for example, then you can go ahead and do that. It's super easy to do. And you used to have to jailbreak to do this. If you guys remember that, uh, you used to have to jailbreak to do this. Now, again, it's baked into the software, which is really, really nice. I'm, I'm trying to do it right now. Of course, I'm kind of failing right now, but you guys get the idea. And uh, I just think it's really nice that Apple finally added this, finally. All right, so next up we have a built-in QR code reader in the camera, which I think is pretty cool. So you don't have to download a separate application. So if I were to open up the camera here, like I have, let's go ahead and try scanning this code. All right, so let's go ahead and get this lined up here. And pretty much instantly, it'll give you a link to open this up in Safari. It's really, really quick and it works really well. This too is now baked into iOS and uh, I like that addition. All right, so next up we have Smart Invert and this is kind of getting closer to the whole dark mode thing. I'm gonna go ahead and show this to you guys right now. A lot of people are calling this a dark mode. It's not exactly a dark, dark mode like I think it should be, but it's kind of getting closer there and there are a lot of theories as to what exactly this is. Are they really going to do a dark mode when the full release is out? Um, but it's definitely not as dramatic as the regular uh, invert colors is. 
uh, so that's that's kind of cool uh, with this enabled it does get a little more um, the, the frames start to drop a little bit as you can see right here but uh, yeah I mean you do have like a kind of a dark mode so the colors aren't uh, as dramatically changed as they are with the classic invert as you can see right here everything just goes crazy and the colors are absolutely nuts this looks kind of cool though uh, but uh, you kind of get the idea it's getting closer to a real real dark mode all right so we're gonna go ahead and go back here for the next thing and the next thing is iphone storage so now it's a lot easier to see what's taking up your storage and you do get recommendations as for what you can do to help you save some storage so that's pretty cool you check out all the applications that you have and what's taking up the most space and all that stuff and again recommendations uh, you can enable this um, offload unused applications and stuff like that messages in iCloud and stuff like that which you can do in iOS 11 which is really nice and then uh, you have you know your graph here telling you what's taking up all of your space so there's that all right so next up you can actually now type to Siri kind of like how Google announced that you can type to the Google Assistant uh, you go to accessibility in general and then you scroll down to Siri it's not in the Siri settings which I think is really kind of silly I think they should put this in the Siri settings but uh, it's whatever you go ahead and type or tap on that rather and then we can now type to Siri so if I were to long press I can now type directly to Siri so if I don't feel like saying you know hey Siri blah 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 this this and that out loud I can go ahead and just type it so that's pretty convenient that's nice to have another pretty minimal thing is if you go into the clock this calculator by the way is different it is updated if you go to the clock here if you go to the timer area you can see that you can now do seconds I don't think you could do this before and uh, yeah, you used to just have hours and minutes. Now you can actually add seconds so you can get that finely tuned time that you want. And that pretty much does it for my tips and tricks for iOS 11. Of course, there are a lot of other things that iOS 11 has to offer. So again, if you want to try it out, go ahead and do so. But I don't, I just don't recommend that you do it on your main phone. Obviously, the iPhone is not my main phone. But uh, yeah, there are a whole lot of other cool features. Uh, Monument Valley 2 is out. That's obviously not an iOS 11 feature. I just, I was just checking that out last night. But the App Store is completely different now. Uh, videos will auto play and it just looks different I think it's a little cleaner it's a little more organized as you can see down here you do have um, updates and apps and games have their own uh, tab down there at the bottom but you know just more refinements animations look nicer and all that stuff this isn't a full review again there's a whole lot more uh, I'll leave you guys links to some more information down below in the description but that pretty much does it for this video I hope you guys got something out of it if you did feel free to hit that like button subscribe to the channel if you haven't already that does it for me I'll talk to you guys in the next video and thanks for watching. Why did I put my hands on the desk like that? I have no idea. See you guys later.